I got my 401k and I'm good. No, you're not. Here's a reason why your 401k and your other options may not be the best option for you. Johnny Mason of Plays, Jonathan Mason here. Gonna go over a couple things that maybe some people don't know. First, we have to understand the history of retirement, of savings, of taxes, and all that kind of stuff, which we can go down the rabbit hole. But let's talk about the, 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 the current saying is, I've got my 401k and I'm good. I got my 403b and I'm good. My 457 and I'm good. I got my company retirement and I'm good. I hate to tell you, no, you're not as good as you think. Let's go over some logic. I'm gonna take a motion out. Let's go through some logic. Back in the day, there were these things called defined benefit plans. First off, those are called pensions, a defined benefit. So which means the benefit at the end when you retire is defined. You know exactly how much retirement you're gonna have, which means there's a guaranteed income. So who came out with pensions? There's a guy named Henry Ford. Ford Motor Company started pensions. What's the exchange? You give me 30 years of your life, I'll give you a guaranteed income. Well, people, if you understand human nature, they like certainty and they like uncertainty, but when it comes to their retirement, they like certainty. Wait a second, what an easy deal this is. I give you 30 years, I work my butt off, I got secure income, and then when I retire, I get a guaranteed income, sign me up, and that's what happened. Here's a couple things though, which you get to the bottom in a second. People said, okay, great, I got my guaranteed income now, I got my guaranteed income now. Companies that are managing this says, this is kind of risky. We're taking on all the damn risk. I can't afford this anymore. I got an idea. Let me shift the risk. We're gonna take all the risk off of us and give it to all the employees. All the employees. They came up with these plans called defined contribution plan. Here's what a defined contribution plan is. They're gonna take the pressure off of the company and give it to the employees. The employee is gonna get their money. They're gonna put it inside of an account. And a traditional defined contribution plan, when the market goes up, they'll make money. When the market goes down, they lose money. There's no guaranteed income like a pension, loaded with fees, no long-term care or healthcare benefit, and they can actually run out of money and lose it. That's your 401k. That's your 403b. That's what your company gave you. So all that happened was the company took the risk from them and they gave it to you, and we fell for it as an economy. See, a 401k is actually a salary reduction plan for highly paid executives that came out in the 70s. Why? Go study taxes. You'll see what the rates were. The, the high uh, affluent wanted ways to defer taxes, which means pay lower tax now to pay tax later. They wanted to defer their current tax rate. Well, here's a couple issues. Number one, if you have a, a regular 401k, 403b, IRA, et cetera, in your opinion, are taxes going up or down in the future? Legally, I can't say if they're going up, but if they go up, that means you're telling me you're just stuffing away all this money to pay a higher tax and more money because it's taxed at ordinary income because it was earned through ordinary income. Okay, it doesn't make much sense, but we keep doing it. Here's the other part that, that's kind of interesting to me. Number one, if you have a pension, I got one from uh, teaching. I had a pension from, well, I'm in Florida. A lot of people have FRSs, Florida Retirement Systems. Uh, we, if, uh, by the way, different school boards have the same thing, different states. Uh, military's got a pension, fire department, any pension. Did you know when you pass away, your spouse may get the, that money, but when the spouse passes away, that money goes back to the pension fund? Your kids don't get it. Just like in Social Security, when the money goes to the spouse, it goes back to the Social Security admin. Because the Social Security is an annuity. Same thing with a pension. Only thing they can guarantee the income is an annuity. So they're getting away from annuities, which is insurance, into securities, which don't guarantee anything. So let me ask you, you're gonna work 20, 30, 40 years. What kind of retirement do you wanna have? Do you wanna have a retirement that's got risk and you go lose, no guaranteed income because your friends did it? Or what if there was a option, retirement option? You can put as much money as you want into that when the market goes up, you make money, market goes down, you lose nothing. Option of having no fees, a guaranteed income you never outlive, long-term care is covered, and the money when you pass goes to your spouse, when they, spa when they pass goes to your kids, and so on and so on, and you can actually create your own private pension. Would you prefer that? That's called an indexed annuity. Not variable, not fixed, indexed annuity. A specific type through specific carriers, and yes, these do exist. It's nothing new. They've been around for several decades. You have, to, you have to know where to look. So going back in time here, most people had a defined benefit, they got away. Now the majority of America relies on defined contribution plans, 401k. That's just the tax code. Inside the tax code is a plan of stocks, mutual funds, fees, etc. If you don't want to take the risk anymore, if you're sick of losing, of playing the up and down, oh, it's going to come back. Listen, markets recover, accounts don't always. If you're sick of paying the fees, if you're sick of wondering, am I going to have enough money in retirement, 
feel free to reach out. We can have a conversation. I promise you there are some options out there that you may not be aware of. With that being said, have a rocking week. Talk to you soon.